you know, the, Mm-hmm. And um, I, I took the pictures and I ran over here. <laughs> oh my gosh! I did I nothing gonna... like the last minute. All right, which one do you want to start with? Let's start with that. I mean, that's fine. It's one of the older one, the the black and white. Let's start with that. Yeah. Oh my gosh! I love what you did with the girl. I love it. I love the foreground. You know what? I oh, I sat yeah. on the mat for six weeks and I said, yeah. "How am I going to do this?" I don't know. Yeah. And, yeah. This afternoon, you know, I had the hot, I said, okay, start mixing your white, gray, dark gray. I mean, just get the right brush, you know, to make it kind of loose instead of, um, anyway. I absolutely love it. So my only, um, my only question is the emblem, uh, the embroidery emblem on her chest. I just think it's too white. Oh, it's still too white because I I just think it's. I yeah. just think it's just, it just looks like it's not, it honestly looks like, so, so what happens is that, yeah. and we're dealing with this all the time in a two dimensional plane, uh-huh. even though the wax is like kind of 3d or what you're still, it's still yeah. basically flat, right? So you're still dealing with two dimensional. And so technically on the two dimension, you have the grasses in the front, which are, which are working very well. You have the woman behind the grass. And then the whiteness of that piece yeah. look like it's on the same level mm. as the white grass. Right, because the white comes forward. Yeah. Right. And honestly, because you're only dealing with black and white, I mean, you could, we've talked about this before where you've added colors from other places into other things so that oh. it looks more natural and like they're existing actually in real time and space. So I mean, technically you could add a color to that white. You could add like a very pale yellow or a blue. I mean, a blue would be beautiful, right? So blue is very nice and complimentary with black and gray. You could add a touch of a gray blue, like a very, you know, mixed, Mm -hmm. like graphite gray and cerulean blue together. Cerulean blue is one of the um, RNF transparents. Yeah, I've got that. sticks. So that would work for you right away because it's transparent okay. already and you oh, don't. That would be cool. Yeah, great. And that would be a nice touch to have just like a tiny, you could even add like a gold if you have any of the iridescent colors. I, I mean, do, yeah, I do have gold. I've been I've been wanting to do clip type things and I've been. Yeah, especially because one of them just sold for like whatever, $125 million. Yeah, right. <laughs> Right. Yeah, I know. I saw yeah, that. I yeah, my mom was telling me they just auctioned one. I um I got a um coloring book where they oh. have a, a full color picture image of you know one, a picture on one side, and it's a coloring book with the lines on the other side, so you could color it in. You know how people like to do that. Yeah, it's a good way for me to kind of learn, you know, the lines and it. Anyway, I just haven't gotten to it yet, so. Yeah, well, that, I mean, that's, that's all, I that's all muscle memory stuff. So anything that you're interested in painting, the yeah. more you've just bought like the flower, like a flowering coloring book is a great way to just sort of like muscle memory, the shape of all the flowers, the scale, yeah. of how they yeah. work in relationships to one. I mean, that's a great idea. Yeah. Well, and it's also something I can do. You know, it's like, you know, you can, you could listen, I can listen to something or watch tv because it's just like you're doodling it's yeah and encaustics are hard in the summer it's hot outside i mean it's actually i like it better because it's easier stencils no i mean i have i have the um porch stencil but i keep it pretty warm because i want i like the wax to be it just seems better yeah more more movable yeah that's great Uh, so so let me just ask you to to um put some color in that i'm using pigment stick right not yeah this would be a good place to use a pan pastel because it's such a small a amount pan pastel. Oh. you could touch it with a pan pastel or a pigment stick i okay. use it i i don't ever think that the pan pastels are like strong enough hmm. so i, I, I have had such bad luck with pan pastels i just said uh, let me let me well, work on other stuff and I'll oh, come right back. because they can get gummy like they yeah. can get like yeah they can get they can no, make I like it them. I can't yeah. take it. yeah okay so that's pigness it that's great okay right. like the blue I would say blue blue gray or yeah. green or gold yeah I, I I got it 
And other than that, I think it's perfect. I mean, and don't get, you might want to put a little, I mean, you might get carried away. I don't know. I think you'll be fine. I think it's beautiful. Um, and I love the treatment of the foreground now. Well, you're the one who came up. I couldn't do the mist idea, you know, as a gra gradation. So I just thought, well, I'll just do a little um, soft brush, kind of dry brush. Da, 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 da. Um, so. Yeah, I love it. Good. Well, thank yeah, you. I love it. Love it. Okay. All right. That's, so that's the, that's it. Okay. Now this is this is the spring version because it's okay. The season self, self portrait with the four seasons. So we did the okay. fall and then the winter. This is spring. Yeah. Uh, I actually have one where it's flat. So I, I'll send, I can send that to you in a minute. But I wanted to show you that I continued it down the sides of you know the. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Over the edge of the panel. That's cool. The roots. The roots, right. Good. I'm glad you saw. You know, I first had of course. A bird sienna and I thought, oh, this this would be good, but it looked like blood. So I just <laughs> put on some um burnt umber yeah. over it. And I said, Oh yeah, that works much better. Okay. Yeah, I love I love um I love your hair. I mean, I love the flowers. I love your headband. I think that the sky is super yeah. effective um and looks really good. Okay. Um, I love the, fl I actually like the flowers a lot and I think the pots are great. I think that your horizon line here in the back could go a little bit darker so that the pops, so that sets at those blurry flowers further behind you. Okay. Horizon line high. You know how I did, you know how I did the, um, I love the flowers out of focus though. Colors. I did totally flat. I colored, um, encaustic gesso. Uh-huh. So it with um the water watercolor. Yeah. That's that was just the sky and her dress. Oh, good. Know? That's like that's like what I did in my Laura Murphy video. Oh, oh, yeah. It? Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, that's right. So I think that's right because I that really uh, that's been working with me a lot. Yeah, so, it's very uh, helpful. It's very helpful. Yeah, so, and then I put um oh I she was already down I guess so I put then I put the uh the color so it's a very flat look and but I like it I really I do like I it. love the way you created the depth in this piece I really do I love the way the I mean almost the stencil like this rose is like you know as important equal to your face everything else is kind of like you know in the middle or further away less important and I like that it really draws you in I mean I was gonna say maybe um putting some something else in the dress but there's something about just the shape being almost empty it sort of suggests that it's like um not exactly there and it doesn't present it as like a fashion item it just presents it as like an iconic item yeah. you know what I mean that it's just like sort of this outline of a shape of a dress yeah I kind of, yeah I kind of like it because it's the background I just like the flatness of it you know it's a flat. No, I like it too I like it too yeah, yeah. Great. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, my only suggestion is, you know, I think um, that this line, I don't know if you can see my little curse. Yes, line. I do. Okay. Uh -huh. This line here mm -hmm. could go a little bit darker, like gray or brown. Mm -hmm. I mean, okay. and you don't really, I mean, you have gray in those pots, so you could get away with gray. Um, and I think you could make the sky. I think if you use a little bit okay. of plastic, I think that mm -hmm. the sky could use a little bit of shading. Mm -hmm. It's it's a really pretty color blue, but I almost feel like it's almost too pretty. Okay. And maybe it could get like dirty a little bit. I, I, I don't know. Just yeah, but mm -hmm. I love the way you shape the clouds. They look like oil and oil, it looks like an oil painting. You know, I didn't even I didn't even realize I was in clouds. I just I was trying to have a little bit of a radiation. That's interesting. Wait, let me go. Okay, so the earth line should be darker, you know, some I think green. so. I, I think so. And I think I think that the quality of the of the out of focus flowers is fine on both sides. I just think that that would sort of establish this this other green part as coming towards you and would make it seem a little bit deeper. Like in a way uh -huh. you're like presenting these spaces as being like far apart from each other, yet they look compressed. So okay. maybe try to pull them apart by by making something lighter or darker. Okay, well, I was wondering if I should make the dirt 
darker because they're actually, you know, it's like they're supposed to be seeds underground of the, or the seed of the, the, the bulb that the tulip comes up from. And I thought, well, I wonder if I should make the, the whole front like a- Well, this is very, I mean, I've, I've talked about Frida Kahlo. I've talked about your work and Frida Kahlo's work before. That's, I mean, Frida would just paint the seed floating in air. I mean, that's what I feel like this is. Okay. So I don't think you cool. need, I don't think for logistics, like okay. why would you, like what, why would you, I mean, because it makes sense. Is that a reason to do it? I mean, if you like the way it looks, I absolutely would just, I like the way it looks. Leave I wouldn't it. want to bury, I don't think you need to bury those seeds for any logical reading. I think it's artistic and I think compositionally it works. And I think if you like it, I would leave it the way it is. Okay, great. That's fantastic. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, look at, more, look at more Frida's work. I mean, she tells a story mm -hmm. and I don't think she cares if her story makes sense. It's her story. Oh, okay. Well, Do you know true. what I mean? I mean, I mean, nobody's heart is going to be outside of their bodies floating in the air. <laughs> right. I mean, she nobody is. She has a banner. Yeah. Nobody yeah. has banners, you know, telling, you know, I, mm -hmm. I mean, again, like, I think she really took her artistic license and, you know, all the way. So you can too. Great. How cool. Okay. Absolutely. No, I think it's great. And I like the way the one, I like the way the flower, the one flower is like detailed and the others are not. I think that's interesting. Thank you. Okay. Um, yeah, I like this piece. A little that, bit of um, shade, just a little bit more shading and you're good to go. Some shading on that flower. Okay. Um, I was trying to make the background like bokeh, but then it came out looking like, you know, flowers in the background, but that's okay. I, you know, that's all right. I don't know how I would differentiate. No, I love, I, this is, this, these look like Leah flowers. I mean, I love this. I know. Okay. So I'll tell you the story on this. It's this such is, a Leah, I, it looks like a Leah painting. It really does. It, and uh, I resonate, no, I resonate with it so much. I'm just, I'm going to ask you a question, but go ahead. What were you going to say about it? Well, I'm just, I just, I want to tell you the progression. <laughs> Because, you know, it, it really had to, you know, I, you had that. Um, oh, and you got that lace from my studio. No, I, I bought it at. Um, that lace? I got it at Joanne Fabric. But when I saw the lace, I said, that's the lace. lace. I have. That's oh, my it. God. You bought it. Oh, my God. I didn't. I know. know. And I, you know, like I got enough so I could make like 10,000 dresses. That's awesome. I thought that's you how, Oh, my God. That's amazing. No, I love that fabric. Because awesome. I recognize. Oh, it's pattern. The, yeah. I recognize. the. Anyway, so. so uh, nice. I it. love all. I love the diversity of the texture. I love the little fan. And then I love these lines. Yeah, that was it. I saw the lines. Yeah. I said, "Oh my that, god, man, that's I couldn't incredible. find it." Anymore. I've been looking for two years for anyway. So let me. So I watched your painting with oh, fire. Yeah, and and I thought, "Oh, Pam, you've got to be more free." So you know, I yeah. I I did black and white prints of some flowers. I had to cut them out, and I tried to have open spaces and you know get the right um, tonal. What do you call it? Contrast. And so I put them down. And so, so I did it on the encaustic gesso and I colored yeah. them and I did the stencil with the uh, colored encaustic gesso. So they're one, two, three of your type flowers. Yeah. But then I made a mistake. I, I tried to put in, I just wanted to have a curve. So I put in like purple, you know, sweep. Okay. I put some tape, purple paper down and the same on the right hand side. The, the purple that's under her dress that's that was originally um paper uh, so I put that down and then I kept looking and I said that looks horrible you know but I so I thought I'm probably gonna have to cover it up but then I put it you know I started coloring in my flowers and they looked horrible I can't tell you <laughs> it was so awful and so then a couple of days ago I said okay I'm just gonna make the whole background the same color as the music paper uh -huh. that down and again trying to go to your your teaching you yeah. know dark side and one light side so I thought okay I will make the the right hand side dark basically uh -huh. and uh so she's supposed to be sitting on a sofa I don't know if I could get that sense and then that's a curtain because I've been listening to some tapes about impressionism so I see all these ladies with their fancy little dresses and they're indoors okay so then 
you know, I looked at my my flowers. They're supposed to be irises, and they looked horrible. I couldn't do it. So that that I took a picture, like I take pictures of your work, and it was a close up, and it was, you know, like I could see. Okay, she stenciled it light, and then she put pigment stick on because this isn't finished. I plan to put the pigment stick on. Okay. And I thought before I did that, I looked at your close up, and I said. Oh, she doesn't just have like three colors. Oh, there's a uh, blue. So then I said, no, because okay. I paint on the palette though with four colors, minimum four colors. Yeah. So, so I just said, okay, Pam, I could either wait and talk to you. And how so, am I supposed to do this? Or I'll just, so I just started doing encaustic different colors. Just put them down, just do streaks. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Then white, I did the white stencils today. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and um, so there are things that I don't like about, it. I do have questions about what I need to fix, but why don't you talk to me about what you're seeing needs to fix and also. Okay. So, so do you remember in, you'll understand, do you remember in photography when people used black clothes and black backgrounds to make parts of the body disappear? Oh yeah. Okay. So if you photograph somebody in the studio with a black glove on. Okay. If you photograph someone against something black, it could just be like a, a dark wall or, or um, you know, like a closet, you know, something dark. And they had something black on their body part would disappear. So like they could be wearing a black armband right. or a glove right. and then they would have, you know, only a half an arm, right? right. So right. that's right. what this, that this black space I love the left side. Like that to me is like yeah. That to me that's Le that's Leia. And I thought oh, right that right. There. I, I mean I so that good. I love it. I love it. Everything about it. I especially love this um these sort of whitish flowers. I like the outline of these flowers, which will be lovely to paint with the yeah. yeah. And I love this. I'm assuming this is a stencil. These little flowers. Yeah, I don't know where you got that stencil, but you might have to send it to me. I love oh, that. Yeah. Stencil. You probably have it because I think we used it in another picture. But okay, well, yeah. That one, but that one's beautiful. And then this little one, I love this extended open space with whatever is on. She's leaning on. Yeah, it's, it's like an urn. Yeah, well, that was part of a collage, the original collage. Because yeah, whatever to... she's leaning on right there, and the way you handled her elbow is perfect. Okay, this sleeve is probably <laughs> her hand. Her hand is hor is terrible. I know. And I, I, it's like she's like mutated, like she's got like right. an amputee, like weird. So we you got know you know what? The original this is a picture of my grandmother, one of yeah. my grandmas. Okay. And you the original, get another hand. You have to find a hand you have to find her a hand. Or well, it's even worse than that because oh, gosh, what I cool. did is I cut I cut off her arm at the sleeve. Okay the stencil and then I put on put her arm on over the stencil which I know it's just it looks horrible okay. and I don't know what to do and I think do I cover it should I take it off and put tissue paper on and yeah so okay so my recommendation okay we got to get rid of it so my recommendation is that she's in like a horseshoe she's yeah. in a horseshoe of flowers so you just you take these guys and bring them down. Not higher than her head, not higher than her head, but below her body. So just right over her shoulder as if she's wearing them. As oh. if, like, leave her arm, leave her arm there. But it's almost like she grabbed them and pulled them across her body and then went like this, Ooh. right? Oh, I love that. So I can get rid of her hand too, right? Just go over her hand. Just leave, the, leave her hand, leave the structure and shape of her body there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So well, but go over. I also would go as wide. I would go over here. Okay. And over here. Okay. And over. Just you leave her shoulder. Don't cover her shoulder. And you okay. can leave up to her elbow. So she can force you. Just like ring this around. But you have to stop. You know, it can only be like a C. It can only be like a crescent okay. moon here. Okay. And mm -hmm. then stop. So get as soon as you get to, you don't want to cover up this beautiful right. skirt and you don't right. want to go over this this empty right. space right here is beautiful i i would ask you to put a couple flowers falling down on top of this oh. i mean i don't like all that i mean i get that i get why you did that i totally understand why this is here but i think you have to sort of have this like fall yes. 
like like they're falling in front of this whole she's behind oh, and I love like, it. oh i love what you do yeah so it's more of these little like these more of just these little white flowers on the black background mm -hmm. will be so beautiful and they you don't don't you don't have to cover up the arm just make it behind the flowers mm -hmm. so, you know mm -hmm. like you don't have to go don't go crazy okay like, everything about this piece is it it's so close like very so think about like when you're very close to something like an animal you don't want to make a sudden movement that's going to scare it away yeah or it's like your uh dark room one percent yeah the rule. one second rule right like one if you leave the print in one second too long it's done yeah so, okay. um yeah so think about like one here one under here and like one on the hand and then one falling maybe the flowers split maybe some of them go to the left yeah towards the, her hand and cover her hand, and then a couple of them go to the right and then they just yeah cool. and, yeah or one here and mm -hmm. i can do it in photoshop if you want do you want me to do it in photoshop um yeah that's what probably makes sense um so while you're setting up in photoshop yeah. um actually the the sofa is um a dark dark purple and then i decided oh, yeah. to yeah and, and i'm wondering if it's just too dark or with the flowers that's going to light it no, i so think i think that i think that the best way to handle no i i get it i mean I, I get it i i would probably um i would probably take try to take the music notes back over that purple curtain because this to me this to me symbolizes like a burn like when you burn paper and how like this atmosphere is disintegrating Oh, right or okay. fading away into something i don't need i don't need that as part of my dark right side it's okay no i think it would be cool if these no what i was going to say was i think it would be cool if these you could draw like over these oh wait hang on i'm not all right Like you could take, you could either inside, you know, like these could blend, like there could oh, be, you size. know what I mean? So they go, yeah. So they, these two realities kind of like, mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe there's like little music lines. Oh, bring them yeah, just to, yeah, just to break this part. It doesn't need to be so solid. Well, it could be more transparent, right. right? So, right. So there's like this little kind mm -hmm. of like, maybe it's incising. Yeah. Another encaustic technique. Yeah. That, um, let me see if I can get like a white. Right, so it's going to be some type of. Oh, that's. It's spam. I'm not going to get it. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's it's spam. Okay, I'm watching. No, it's fine. So that's like bringing the you're know, bringing the worlds together. So I don't totally take the the curtain out i just no i wouldn't take the yeah. curtain out at all and i wouldn't do anything to this bench either i mean go with your gut right mm -hmm. but again like i have to make this more opaque i oh i see what you're doing it's very it's it's very subtle little thing here yeah. well mm -hmm. like these are just these little you know just again like i don't want you to get rid of her arm i think that the structure yeah. of her shoulder is important right okay well while you're doing that, here's the here's the other thing though. Um, you know, I had to I had to quote embed it, but it was over the texture. So, you know, and it's a pretty thick. I mean, you printed it. There was a you know the uh -huh. red, paper, yeah. Uh, and I don't know if it's in danger of coming off, but maybe by putting the flowers on, that'll help anchor it more. The weight of the wax, sure. I think it's fine. Yeah, I mean, the power. Guys, oh, I love this. Oh, I mean, wow. You see oh, something like it. that? And they don't, like, you yeah. don't, you know, sometimes too, like, <sighs> you know, like you can draw, you can add them in stencils. I mean, even just that idea of them kind of being like almost like luminescent, whereas mm -hmm. the other ones are sort of, you know, like this, this is like maybe the garden. And then this is like the ghost, right? So it's like the ghost in the garden, you know, like, Ooh. <laughs> I, don't, okay. I mean, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I, no, I love it. You know, I can't tell you, Leah. I, I, uh -huh. I, 
I was resisting this for six weeks. I was saying, well, I want to try oh, I style, and I want to be more free. And then I looked at what oh, I was doing. I love said, oh, it. It's not working. And then I said, okay, Pam, just take a chance. Just yeah. you know, try to do it as close to the way Leah would do it as you can. Yeah. <laughs> and it's so cool too how it's like, well, because I always think about transformation. I mean, we die and we turn to dust, right? So like things are seeds grow up into flowers like think about all the life cycles and transformations that things go so yeah. I think about that when I'm painting I'm like nature would you know or our imaginations you know we turn think of all the things we fabricated like people think of all kinds of things like think yeah. about Pixar or like Ghostbusters yeah. I mean any of it like you know it's all kind of we're making it up as we go so I like the white on the dark on this side. I mean, honestly. I oh my gosh. That's... All right. So I'm going to save this. You can ponder that. And then Wait, we'll... I have, I have a couple of questions before you. Of course. Okay. Of course. Okay. So one is, um, I see white on her hat. I don't know. Did you do that? Or I just it... did that. Yeah. I just put a little highlight there. Okay. So it's not um, a flower. It's just a little. No, it's just like a little highlight. Now I I like the urn also, but I was wondering if I should color it or should I just leave it like that as a it's a line drawing. Which which part? See the urn that has it has some fur it has some. It, I could paint that this part paint that the urn a color and and the green coming down or I could just leave it like the way it is now. I, like the way it is. I just made this green. You need to add another color to this green. It's just too all green. Yeah, I I, agree. I had it as I had it sure. as dark, yeah. I had it dark purple, and yeah. I said no, it's got to be a contrast. So I'll tone that down. Yeah, the shirt, I think it's just shine. It it's not like that. It's just it's 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 sort of like um, transparent. It's a pan, transparent violet. You know her blouse. So no, I that, love her blouse. Her blouse looks great. I mean, I would just put a highlight in her hat. Okay. It's white, and I would put a little highlight in her shirt, especially if you're going to put white over here on the right hand side. Okay. So you highlight the shirt. Yeah, because if there's any type of glowing light on the right side, it's going to be reflective back onto her, right? Okay. So if there are the little twinkly yeah. stars or flowers, if there's like, you know, flowers that are glowing on the yeah. rock, they're going to reflect back onto her. So that's going to put a little bit more light you know oh i see where you put i i see where you put it you put I it on put it her collar and right i see what you did I, I just couldn't see it okay good now what about the the sweep of her skirt you know i could have continued with that pat your lace yeah but <laughs> but i i thought well why don't i just try you know just um no i it. like the line i actually like the line i just think that uh, I think that this black line here is a little bit distracting and I think you need to incorporate the gradient I think you need to get some tonality in in the skirt so how did like, I do that I, I made the black line because the white that I put over what I had there before was uh, going into this dress and so I thought well I'll make the line but um, I'll, I'll try and tone that down um, pigment sticks it's really just the only way okay. Okay. So, so you, know. can, you can Great. determine where the, the light is coming from. So if we're saying there's little lights in these flowers. That's all of this is going to be light. So let me just, um, I'm just going to use the, the burning tool. Yeah. Well, but I, you know, I was trying to watch the light on her face is coming from the left side, but now you're saying this glow is, is also lighting up. So yeah, I would let the, I would, I would make this, I would make this side, I would make the right side lighter in the skirt. Okay. I, okay. I, That's I think that this, this should go. And also if you make this darker, then you don't have to worry as much about this dark line that you have. So just oh, go okay. Ahead, okay. Right? So the dark line can be the dark and then this can just go. Okay. I mean, I think that's enough. Did you see I just burned oh, that? it's very subtle. It's not a huge. Um... Oh, it's very you subtle. Burn. And if you put pigment stick on these little lines, they'll all. Mm, that's yeah, that just rub that in. Ooh, did you put a highlight on, like on her knee? Um, yeah, right here. You want that highlight? Okay. I think you're gonna need some type of highlight over there. I don't think it should all go. Yeah, I think I think that. Okay. 
I'm trying to be more conscious of where the light's coming from, but I, you know, I still have a lot to learn. So, yeah, and you say, so dark in the, that, that knee area, the thigh and the knee, and then um, lighten the sweep. Uh, sad. I just, I sad because I feel like if there's light on her hand with a white flower, it would make sense. Uh, of the, it would know? be bouncing. Yeah. Ooh, cool. I just think it should be bouncing around. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is that that That's really uh, cool. I love it. I do too. I just think, oh my gosh, I thought, wow. And I, I wanted to be free and I was, you know, being very fiddly with it. And I said, oh, Pam. So wait, let me ask you a question though. Do you see how, like you, do you see how I just kind of, I didn't really add a flower on her hand. I just kind of like took away her hand mm. and could add flowers. I mean, you could try just that too, where you literally just, you know, Okay. You don't have to put a flower on top of her hand. I mean, I would put a flower here at her el above her elbow and okay. one or two little teeny ones falling down here. I you love can play it. around with her hand. You might just be able to sort of like just paint over it with a little bit of thick white and uh -huh. uh, pigment okay. stick. Like you might not have to put a flower over her hand. Okay. That's great because I mean, really, if it doesn't work. Then you can try. I mean, try painting over it just to because look, it, it doesn't matter that her hand's not there. That's interesting. I wouldn't have thought, but but when you have that ghosty look, yeah, right. Part of her could just be like disappearing. I mean, that would make her like ethereal, right? Yeah. I mean, truly ethereal. You know, it's interesting because the vintage picture, um, the hand was just like she was clutching her hand or something like. That you know and it the, the hand is ugly i mean the photograph right, right. it looks like it's right only one finger or whatever yeah oh i love this i mean that, I, to me, I feel like this is a breakthrough in this is really nice um, piece yeah really nice thank you well that's because we're painting with fire you know uh, yeah i mean no everybody who does it there you know you you're expanding your um practice a lot by Oh, it. you know, the other thing I did was remember the picture that you um, helped me with when I was there in uh -huh. Pennsylvania. Yeah. Student? I took that out and I put that up. I said, okay, watch how she did the lace. <laughs> she, no, really. So I had that up. Yeah. So. so cute. Okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, we really can teach each other things. That's just great. I mean, oh, do you I, see, I just use this burn tool. I mean, this is how I just use the graphite gray, though. Like this oh, area up in the upper corner, it just wasn't really making sense, right? So just make oh, it back. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not, it's, it's, and going back isn't doing anything. It's just not competing with what needs to be seen. Yeah. And what right. needs to be seen is this space between mm -hmm. the two, between, right? And the, yeah. and the fact that there's maybe music in the background and that something is shifting. Mm -hmm. that's all you're really you know you're talking about femininity and shifting and transformation you're not talking about anything literal yeah. you know you're not even talking about really anything specific to this person exactly you know yeah. you're just sort of like metaphorically telling mm -hmm. this tale so you I, I have a question about composition uh, to me you know when i you know finally kind of came up on this you yeah. know it took a while to get uh, but anyway, to me, it looks kind of weird to have the exact center of the picture blank. I mean, <laughs> why I love that. That doesn't bother. You. Okay, all no, right. I love that. Okay, all right. I love that. And honestly, the cent the center of the picture, yeah, the center of the picture is like here. Mm -hmm. But I love everything circling around the center. It, no, it's oh, really okay. nice. Okay, I just want to try one thing really quick. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know that it matters, but I'm just going to see if I lighten this. I, I don't mind. No, I don't want to do that. Okay. No, just leave it the way it is. Well, okay. That's great. Do? I was going to try to lighten that up like corner, but I don't really need to. I don't think I should. You may on the right side. Yeah, but I don't No, I like the drape. I like that. It's like a drape or what, okay. you know, fine. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to send you this picture. Thank you. All right, let's see what you got one more here. Let's get it in. Oh, what maybe two more. Okay, this one. Yeah, actually that one um 
you know, I, I, I've tried different things. I did all kinds of um, jelly things, you know, this, and I only got one that I kind of liked. And then I did a, just a, a plain stencil down on the left side. Um, and then I just, I thought, I'm going to stop, you know, like maybe I can't do it. Um, and well, also I don't, what's wrong with this, what's wrong with this piece? Well, I, well, first of all, to me, she looks really green. So I feel like I should pull back her face, you know, get her face back to the black and white. I, the one I have, I totally covered with, you know, just a glaze, a green glaze. And it doesn't show so much here, but um, yeah. I, I don't, I don't, I, I like this piece. Okay, so my, all right, wait, hang on. So my take on it is that you need to just use your mid-tone, your gray tones. Oh. So my my problem with this piece, I like, I I just think that this line is weird. Which one? I wait, can't see. On. I'm going to try and find gray. Wait. Uh, actually, I'm just going to use the burning tool. So when I use the burning tool like this, that that could be your graphite gray. Right, okay. right, right. Like, I would just, like. Oh, that. That's because the picture is narrower than the board. So, okay. Oh, so, so that's not actually part of the picture. Okay. No, I was going to, you know, if I could cut the book, the crap. Right, well, I'm going to crop it. Hold on one second. I'm just gonna crop it. Okay. But that's a great, I forgot about um, putting the graphite gray in on the right-hand side. That's an easy fix. Well, right. Cause okay. Here I cropped it a little bit, but like all, I think all you need to do is you have some interesting yeah. things in here. All you need to do is sort of redefine like here, right. It's an interesting portrait. Okay. Right. Okay. So if you just go a little bit darker here, mm. you know, a little mm -hmm. bit of graphite gray, a little bit of burning in, you know, mm -hmm. also these are dark up here. So, but they don't really make sense because, you know, they're so, if you put something else there that might make sense with them. You mean, so should I take something that? else dark, like some other suggestions of something else dark, even if it's <laughs> dark in that side, dark in that side, or yeah, so dark, dark in this upper upper left corner, this mid right, a little bit on the right, and a, just a little bit here, and I think that's a really nice piece. It's okay. That's it. That's all I have to do. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just put the green glaze. On. I guess because, as you said, it's uh, it's already. I mean, you can add some white into the highlight areas if you want, but mm -hmm. I mean, I think the thing about this piece is sort of this, like, you know, camouflage like, you know, symbolism, you know, I think she's looking out through this, like, oval, you know, oval frame that's all nature, right? She's, like, looking out through this hole of nature yeah. at you. I mean, that's just what it is. Okay, because that's that's the lens baby and uh, I love it. I think it's beautiful. Exposure. I mean, there aren't really any flowers in it. I was gonna say, if there were no. flowers in it, you could add, you know, like yellow or orange or pink, but there aren't yeah, really. I don't want no. If you wanted to add a little bit of yellow, you could or a little bit of brown to just give it a warmness so it is not so mint ice cream colors, you know what I mean? <laughs> okay. But I don't mind it. I mean, I can throw some brown in there. Let's see what it looks like. Hang on. Well, also, I was wondering if I should put some pigment stick on the stencil or just leave it as part of the glaze, you know, the that's on the left side. Well, you're just going to use the graphite gray and it's going to go where it goes. And you're going to rub it in and rub it off. So if it goes on the oh, stencil, it goes over the, the graphite gray also over the stencil. Okay. Yeah. I mean, let it go on it and then over it or around, you know, whatever it kind of yeah. does. Uh-huh. Let it just do its thing. Um, cool. Okay. Here, this is like brown. I mean, you know, you have all these like leaf shapes. Just put little touches in. Yeah. That looks like um. No. Nice, like orangey brown. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just to have something warm in here. If you want something warm in here. Warm it up. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it, if you just have so much green, I mean. You know, any of these colors can be persuaded to be slightly on the other side. If you just add, you know, mm -hmm. the right color to them, they can. And I like to put a lot of colors together. So they kind of, you don't know. Okay. 
I mean, that looks nice. It just kind of suggests other type of lighting. And it's it's more it's very subtle, but it, it yeah yeah I see what you're saying. It's it does help. Yeah, so you could use any of the um you know burnt sienna. That uh, looks like burnt sienna. Yeah. Okay. You but, could use an ochre. I mean, it's nice, right? Because all these leaves technically have green, brown, black, mm -hmm. yellow. I mean, every leaf in its lifetime, right? Just depending where it is and what stage of its existence. I mean, I like that. So that's a little bit more complicated. Yeah, I do like that. Um, Because I still have the other one I took that is not a multiple exposure where I have would have to put the layers in. So that'll be interesting to do that and compare the photographic um, double exposure and then the encaustic layers. Um, okay. Yeah. Great. Oh, that's helpful. Yeah, I love it. I mean, I like to use brown. If I'm not gonna use yellow, I use brown because it warms it up without being yeah. overbearing. And it also mm -hmm. can be a good shading color. Oh, that's so much better than just green. Okay, so this one was, I, I hope this is the last one, you know, of doing what you said. Yeah. It actually looks more purple, but I didn't have time to do it in Photoshop, but it does look more purple. It's not as blue as that, um, but- it, Oh, in real it, life? Yeah, yeah, I, I somehow the iPhone didn't get uh -huh. the that's right, but that's okay. Yeah, I love it. Good, okay. So I mean, I love it, I think it's really good. I think that was le learning too, to, um, it was tissue paper and then using the uh, transparent colors. Yeah, I love the way the trees in the background look. And I like the two like strong trees and I love the ground and I think her dress looks good. I mean, it kind of looks like she's cutting through the earth, but I don't it know. Does. That. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like she used her skirt to dig a big hole and <laughs> the <laughs> earth apart right there. I mean, seriously. No, I love it. Yeah, I had her on a path, you know, with the moon or the moon or with the yellow, but I took that out. So, yeah, I like it. And I like the other, the brown one that I did had a different technique. But yeah, I think the ground is working really well. I mean, I think everything. Yeah, I feel like the, yeah, I think it's great. I mean, it, you know, it's a oh. figment of your imagination. It's a fairy tale. It's beautiful. It's a fairy tale. Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, yeah, so I, I love the I, gold I, on her skirt. I love her hand. Yep, the light on her hand is great. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it, I think it's so interesting. Just when you said, you know, Pam, I, I think you're ready to, to have a show. And I said, well, let me try and work for something this summer. <laughs> I mean, not to do the show, but to finish, you know, finish a body of work for the summer. Yeah. But, yeah. but then as soon as I said that to you, all of a sudden I had resistance about going in the studio. So I think I have to just say, uh I'm go in because I want to work on this piece. You know, like I, I just want to do this technique or I want to, you know, I want to do. So I think I just have that at have that attitude right now. And you know. I, I think that oh, there's no. I think that there's a lot to be said to taking out your calendar and just like you'd make an appointment with me or like yeah. you said, you'd schedule to go hiking. Like you just got to block out time for the art, you know, even if it's like, I don't yeah. know, six hours a week. I mean, whatever yeah. you, you know, whatever you think. And I, I really believe that time adds up in positive ways. Like, I mean, even just, I mean, with the art for sure, like with anything, with your body, with riding, you know, learning a new like yeah. dance, like whatever, you just have to do it and practice. It's a dis and it's a it is a discipline. It's a discipline. It? Yeah, it's a home. discipline. I mean, I know some people have like natural ability. That's great, but like, okay, <laughs> I mean, yeah. you still have to formulate something. I mean, to be a successful artist and to have a real, you know, I don't know, say in the art, you have to be consistently producing work. Yeah. Yeah. No, I no, I I agree. I just I just thought it was my reaction was so interesting. I thought, okay, Pam. Uh, so and then, but knowing yeah. I had I had my deadline today, so I said, oh, okay, that's I good. That's good. There. So you did a call. great job. You did a great job. Let me show you this fun. Uh, while I have you on screen, let me show. You. This is a new show by one of my favorite artists, Tom Judd. Ooh. And it was funny because he had this show, and I missed the opening, but then I got to see the show. Um. Ooh, that's I photographed an event where the show was, but isn't that cool? 
That is. It's so it's such an interesting mixture of collage and photography and I know. Mm. It's really yeah. cool. Yeah. This is in Pennsylvania. You, yeah. Uh, Tom Judd. Uh, you can see him online. He's one of my favorite painters. Tom Judd. J U D J U D D. Say it again. Painter. What? J U D Z. No, D D. J U D yeah. yeah, Judd. J yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I like how he, I like, I like how he mixes media and, mm -hmm. and you know, I actually give your, your pictures. Well, you know, the, um, the one of the, uh, the vintage one that's now, you know, like a ghost. Yeah, <laughs> I love her. Like yeah. No, but originally I had some really interesting, um, designs like he has in, in the background of his, uh -huh. put those in and then, um, I, they just get lost. You know, I find that collaging is hard for me because I, I end up covering it up. I have trouble with composition with- Well, I think too, it's, uh, a, it's a scale. I think it's the scale that you're working. So he's working pretty big. Yeah. And I think if you did a bigger one, like, uh, which would be fun for you. I think that's actually your next challenge is um, I'm gonna, oh, I can stop recording. But I think you should um, do a larger piece. Well, I, I actually start the little ones, the self portraits, and a, a lot of them lately were eight by tens. But um, the the uh, my grandmother ghost was uh, eleven by fourteen, so I, I am pushing to to get a little bit bigger. I think you should go for sixteen by twenty. <laughs> yeah, I must. <laughs>